on the 14th of June 2012. Obviously, look at the season date. Awkward. And I, I went to see Rock of Ages, so if you're going to see that movie, don't watch this video because I will ruin it for you. So goodbye, shushu, shushu. Um, other than that, if you don't want to see this movie, then watch this because I'm about to ruin it big time for you. Anyway, Rock of Ages is hilarious, okay? Plot synthesis to the movie on um, internet. Set in 1987, Los Angeles, Drew and Sherry are two young people chasing their dreams in the big city when they meet its love at first sight. Though their romance will face a series of challenges. Yeah, um, it's actually based off Broadway, which I think is pretty cool because they've got a lot of 80s songs. And when I walked into the cinema that I had to go into to watch the movie, they they were actually playing all these songs before the movie. They were playing um, I don't even know what the songs are called. They were like um, Have Me at Jukebox and um, you know, all those other 80s songs. Anyway, so. I'm not good with 80s songs. If I don't know the name, I don't know the name. But if I hear it, I kind of know it, I guess. And I, um, they were amazing, amazing, um, amazing cast, amazing uh, sound effects, I guess you could say. Um, <laughs> let me explain who's in it. Uh, Diego Bonita plays Drew Bully, which is obviously the lead male. Dakota Sage Grant, she plays a little girl on the bus, she's like six years old, I think, she looks six, and she sings like this song that says, your love's gonna find you no matter what, and I'm like, oh, you know, something like that, anyway, um, Julianne Hugh, no, she plays Sherry Christian, which is the lead female in the movie, um, she goes through ups and downs, she, um, uh, wants to be a musician, so she goes to Hollywood. She gets robbed, and that's where she meets Drew, and she works at the same bar that Drew works, which is a bourbon room, Bob? Yeah, something like that. bourbon something, and so, and then things happen, and she kind of quits, and then she goes to be a poor dancer, which is like, interesting. Uh, Tom Cruise plays Stacey Jacks, and I mean... He is actually a perfect doctor. He's got all these tattoos. He's got the body, the love of the pants, the long hair. It's pretty scary. I mean, I've never seen Tom Cruise with long hair before. And the man is hot. Um. Okay, random guy. Alec Baldwin is Dennis Dupree. He's the owner of the Bourbon Room Club. Whatever, the Bourbon something. Um. He's also unknowingly gay. Um. By that I mean he doesn't understand. We don't understand, we just think he's old and we think he's gay, oh, no, we think he's old and we think he's straight and, he, and we think he's single, um, but he's gay even though no one knows, not even himself. Uh, Russell Brand plays Lonnie, which is Dennis Dupree's, I guess, second in charge type of person. Um, Lonnie is also gay, unknowingly gay, like I said, no one knows, not even Lonnie, until we find out. Um, I don't know who that woman is. Brian Cranston plays Mick Whitmore. Ooh, oh, Mike Whitmore, who is the mayor of the town. And, um, he, he's kind of cheating on his wife. That's all we really know about him. He cheats on his wife. Who else? Uh, Bartender Jimmy is played by Shane Hartline. Um, he's only got like, or even though we see him in a few scenes, he doesn't really speak. He only says, don't worry, these guys, are, these are actually dudes. Um, that's all we really hear him say. Uh, Doug Flip Mulk is played by James Martin Kelly. Pardon me. Played by James Martin Cal Kelly. Um, Doug Flip Mulk, Flint Lock is actually the ex mayor. I guess the guy that slipped down. I don't know. Mayor stuff. If you're into politics, you'll understand. But he was the mayor, and then someone else took his place, which was Mike. But, yeah. Um, Catherine Zeta Jones is Patricia Whitmore, obviously Mike's wife. Um, she, I'm trying to breathe. I can't breathe in the stress. Um, she is the girl that had a fling with a rock star, and now she's the girl that hates rockets. Pretty much, she does really cool dance numbers. Um, she says, "I hate rock and roll," and then when she meets Stacey Jack, Stacey puts her hand on her boob and goes, 
hi, you filled out pretty well. And I'm like, whoa. Um, Selena Beach plays the mayor's secretary, which is pretty much like his mayor secretary who's sleeping with Mike Whitmore. Um, so that's pretty much. Oh, Mary J. Blige is also in there. Who's she play? Um, I don't really know her name in it. Hold on, let me just find it. Control F. Uh, she played Justice Taylor. Tyler? Justice Charlotte. Um, so that was Mary J. Blige. She's pretty much the lady that runs the Viper Room for gentlemen. It's pretty much a polydancing club where gentlemen can do their stuff and watch females. Um, there's a whole bunch of other people, but they're not really as important. Uh, okay, now, oh, hold on. There's one girl that's missing. And, ah, Maylene Ackerman, who is Constance Shack. Uh, Constance Shack is a reporter for the Rolling Stones, a magazine, not the band, but the magazine. Um, she goes to interview Stacey Jacks. Uh, it kind of ends up in an awkward situation where it goes one minute take me, next minute don't touch me sort of thing and then she prints this article saying Stacey Jack's just an idiot and no one gives a damn about him and all that sort of stuff and Stacey's like hey I love you now and she falls pregnant with these kids which is kind of like aww um, these people, I mean um, the guy who plays Drew, uh, Drew Bowling which is a character he also calls himself Wolfgang Ben Kotz. Ben Kotz. Yeah, and he sings like the song that says um, she's just a small town girl and he's just a city boy. You know that song? Google it. If I can find it, I'll put it down in the description box. Anyway, so he claims to write that song, which I'm pretty sure <laughs> is done by a different band. Um, Tom Cruise does sing. It's pretty cool. He he sings Paradise City by Guns N' Roses and he sings um put some sugar on it, no? Oh uh, sugar on me, you know that put some sugar on me. You know, that song. I don't even know. But if I find out Google I know what song I'm talking about, but yeah, um So he he does a few singing. He also sings another song, like What's Love What is Love or something. Um yeah, sorry, I'm not really good with my E songs if I don't know them off by heart. Sorry, but um, it is worth going to see. Um, might I also admit, Alec Baldwin and Russell Brand Kiss. I didn't know that until I watched last night the news, the project on Channel 10. I didn't know that, and I was just happened to be on Channel 10 to watch a different show. And the project's like, Russell Brand and Alec Baldwin interview. And I'm like, oh my god, I have to watch. And decided to tell uh, uh, the viewers that Russell and Alec kiss. Which is kind of like, oh. And um, Alec Baldwin said in the interview that he's like, Oh, Russell Brand told me that we'll be kissing other people that we've kissed. And just imagine it that way. I'm like, that's so hilarious, but awkward. Um, so it's totally worth seeing, especially since you get to see them two kiss. Oh, yeah, um, there was like me and six other people in a cinema. And there's two old ladies. Two old ladies I found were hilariously annoying. They talked throughout the whole movie. Um, when Alec Baldwin and Russell Brand kissed, they were like, Ew, get that off the screen, get me know this kids that watch this movie. And then when Tom Cruise's character, Stacey Jacks, kissed that Marlene chick, you know, um, Constance, Stacey Jacks kissed Constance, and they're like, eh, that's not a kiss, that's not a kiss. And I'm like, you weirdos, a, a kiss is a kiss, right? Doesn't matter what sexuality you are, doesn't matter whether you're a guy or a girl. A kiss is a kiss, it means the same thing, right? And I, so, those old people kind of scared me. Um, so the movie is worth seeing, I highly recommend it, um, so far, or well, it's actually in a tie, I, I've seen the Avenged, Avengers, so the Avengers and Rock of Ages are in a tie together going, which one is going to get Laura's best list of approval, um, but yeah, go see it, uh, totally worth spending your money on, uh, if you like Billy, you'll definitely like this movie, um, what else can I say, full of nothing but 80s, the big hair, the revealing outfits, and even the girls on the street, you know, the hookers, they even sing. And I'm like, lol. And it, um, go see it. It's got everything for all ages, all genders, all sexualities, whatever. Um, worth seeing, and I'm gonna quit repeating myself now and go. Okay, bye!